The Pawdy class Corvette was built in the Soviet Union from the years 1960 to 1968. There were a total of 66 of these Corvettes completed. Overall, they were quite fast thanks to the twin shaft combined diesel and gas turbine propulsion system. This allowed the ship to maintain a maximum speed of 38 knots. The primary goal of the Pawdy was anti-submarine warfare. To engage submarines, the Pawdy was equipped with RBU 6000s along with SET-40 torpedoes. The 57mm AK-725 guns can also pack quite a punch and has a rate of fire of 200 RPM. The ships had a long service life. Bulgaria operated a handful of Pawdy class corvettes and the last ones were decommissioned in 2005. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to Cold Waters with DotMod. Today we are checking out the Potty class, and this should be quite interesting. We have new sound contacts already. Let's turn on all of our sensors and turn on our sonar. We have Master 1 way out here, which is a gearing class destroyer. We can see her 5-inch guns are already trained towards us. Hopefully uh, they're not too accurate. She is engaging us already. Oh, here we go. We are definitely out of range of Master 1. She is in range of us. We're going to have to zigzag about and try to close the gap. We do have chaff just in case any missiles are launched our way, but in terms of long range uh, offensive weapons, we are lacking. We are definitely lacking. So we are going to use our 38 knot speed to close in on this gearing. Thankfully, the gearing's fire seems to be relatively inaccurate. Let's keep on closing, moving quickly. How far away is the target? Wow, she is still so far, still around over 32 kilometers out. And the fire's already this accurate. I don't know how we are going to be able to get close enough here to actually engage. If we take one five inch, shell hit i have a feeling that will be it and we will be done for or i can see her way out there on the horizon we're just going to keep charging at her We are still racing towards the target. Thankfully, we have not been hit yet. The gearing continues to bracket us as we just absolutely book it at a speed of 38 knots. Guns are in range, guns are in range. Let's turn so our AK-725s can bear on the target and start letting loose here. The problem is, of course, this makes us a bit of an easier target here. Come on. Please engage. Okay, maybe we're not in range just yet. We have to keep on getting closer and closer. We are 11 kilometers away from the target. We're continuing to zigzag because those five inch shells are getting awfully close to us. We have been extremely lucky and knock on wood here, but hopefully I have a feeling like one five inch. Oh, there we go. All right, fire control is damaged of course it is of course fire control is damaged okay torpedo time i suppose i don't know if these can actually go for surface ships though that's our problem five minutes to repair fire control let's keep on closing yeah we cannot engage no oh, there we go there we go please engage please start shooting get an arc Okay, rudder amidships. Oh, we're a little lower in the water now. There we go. AK-725 is opening up on the target. Love to see it. Love to see it. Let's see. 
Oh boy, that gearing's still opening fire. This is not good for us at all. Look how low we are in the water. Keep engaging. I am not appreciating this gunfight. There we go, bracketing that gearing. If we can take out that main gun, that would be ideal. How's the gearing looking? She looks A-OK, -okay, unfazed by the current situation. There we go. Look at that bracketing, though. Flooding in the engine room. We've been hit again. Holes at 72%. Uh, something just exploded. There we go. There we go. Love to see it. Keep engaging. We are continuing to engage this poor gearing. There we go. More explosions on the gearing. She's on fire. Oh my gosh. This rapid fire gun is absolutely insane. Fire control is repaired. They said flooding was in the engine room. I don't see any flooding. But go ahead and start working on that. There we go. More explosions on the gearing. Gearing's just absolutely getting wrecked. There we go. There we go. Target exploded. Perfect. Okay. We're alive. Shockingly. Pulls at 59%. We took a beating. Okay, let's reduce speed down to 10 knots. One torpedo tube is completely destroyed. Now let's hunt for Sierra 2 wherever she's at. Sonar's on. Contact reestablished. Good. We're going to close in on Sierra 2 and uh, finish this job. That was pretty darn nuts, I must admit. That was pretty crazy. Uh, we got very lucky there. Holes at 59%. A few more hits and we would have been done for. I don't think they actually ended up getting a direct hit on us. Okay, let's increase speed to 15 knots. And close on in on Sierra 2. We are closing in on the submerged contacts. We have two of them out here, Sierra 3 and Sierra 2. I have identified Sierra 3 as a barbell, possibly. Um, can we engage with RBUs? Not within firing range yet. We are eight kilometers away from the target. Let's increase speed to 15 knots. They have fired multiple torpedoes at us. However, all of them have gone right on by. None of them were very threatening. We are going to close in on CR3 and prosecute that target. We have closed in on Sierra 2, and it turns out it is a guppy just hanging out down here. And I think we should be in range. We are in range. Let's have our RBUs train and fire. Let's reduce speed down to 10 knots. She did fire a torpedo towards us. Let's see if our RBUs can engage the target. We also have torpedoes that we can use to fire. I'm actually thinking, let's go ahead and set this torpedo to active. The sub is probably deep, Sierra 3 way down here. Let's fire off a fish towards them, have it zigzag about. There we go. Torpedo away. And I want to, we need to Pretty please fire RBUs at this guppy. Increase speed. Multiple torpedoes heading our way. Let's increase to 20 knots, please. What's our range? Three kilometers. Load another torpedo in the tube. Come right ever so slightly, please. Hold fire with our AK-725s. Okay, rudder amidships. Still not engaging with RBUs. Hopefully we do that soon because I am not liking the way this guppy is looking at us. Oh, she's going pretty slow. 
RBU should be clear to fire 2.7 kilometers out. Let's take a look here. RBU 6,000. Doesn't give us a range. We may be out of range here. We'll continue to close. I'm sure that's the case. The issue is these two torpedoes heading our way. I'm not too worried about them, however. This is the 1968 time frame, so a lot of the torpedoes are subpar, quite frankly. We do have another torpedo we can launch. I'd rather prosecute this guppy with our RBUs, however, so let's continue to close. Okay, RBUs are training on target. There we go. RBUs are going after the guppy. Perfect. There we go. Nice and close. Oh my gosh. Absolutely devastating. Contact's already breaking up. Perfect. RBUs are reloading. All right, let's head towards the barbell. Let's change course, head towards it. I think we just had to be off center. I think bow on, we could not fire RBUs. Let's make sure we are clear to fire. Engage. What's our range? Seven kilometers out. Probably a little far away here. Lots of torpedoes on the water that we have to be worried about. No, we're engaging. Now our RBUs are going after them. I was about to say, I thought the range on these RBUs was quite far. We are engaging CR3. Who knows how close these are going to get to the target. Let's keep engaging her. Let's reduce speed to five knots, see if we can get a really good solution on the target. We'll send one more salvo of RBUs out towards CR3. Another torpedo heading for us. This one's definitely wire guided here. Actually, you know what? Hold fire. Reload. No, there we go. We have a good solution on her now. Fire. There we go. RBU's going out. There we go. We actually did hit her, apparently. Splashing all around her. Oh my gosh, already. There we go. Target is going down. There we go. I love RBUs so much. Okay, now we need to just evade these torpedoes and we are out of here. Damage control, hull still at 59%. Let's increase speed. Gotta go fast. 38 knots. Let's get out of here. Well, folks, with our high speed, we were able to get out of the area scot-free. Anyway, that was a fun little video. It's nice to be back in cold waters with Dot Mod. I am looking forward to new features coming to the mod relatively soon. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and comment and let me know what you would like to see next. This is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.